Hi, I'm going to show you how to determine the overall rate law for an equation using reaction mechanisms. Now what's particularly important about these elementary steps is that the fast step is before the slow step. So it takes just a little more work. Now notice over here, I have set up, um, it's almost like a grocery list of um, steps, a recipe list of what you follow, okay? This is the process of figuring out that overall rate law. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is add the elementary steps together to get the overall rate, or get the overall chemical equation. Now, a little side note, if this is new to you, I strongly recommend go to my uh, playlist and watch under rate, um, the videos that all deal with reaction mechanisms because this is the culmination of like six videos So if you're watching this for the first time You probably need a little bit of background before you can really understand this if you're feeling good You know what I'm talking about keep watching. Okay, so um, we're going to add these elementary steps I look to see if there's anything that can cancel. Yep. Sure enough that CL right there that can cancel um, everything else, we're just going to add it together. So everything on the reactant side, we're going to have two of the NO2Cl, and that is going to produce two of the NO2 plus the Cl2. So that is my true chemical reaction. That's how that exists in nature. The task is to use this reaction mechanism, these reaction mechanisms, to determine the overall rate law. Okay, to do that, remember the rate determining step is always the slow step. So I come to my slow step and I'm gonna go ahead and write its rate law. So it'll be rate equals K. And because I have so many of these, I put a sub two, this will be the rate constant for this reaction. And it's um, just gonna be the reactants. Now I cross those out because I added it together, but if I'm just looking at this, that hasn't canceled. That chlorine's still there. Just, I cross that out to do this part, okay? I'm looking at this entire equation to get the rate law. So we are going to have NO2Cl to the one. Now remember, this is all a fudge. This right here is from the mind, is the theory and the make-believe of a chemist. They are pretending that the reaction steps, how reactants are broken and how bonds are formed, how those products are formed, that it happens in these two steps. There's no evidence for it. It's all pretend, it's all theory. So because of that, I can assume that the coefficient is also the exponent, the order. So if that's a coefficient of one, this is gonna be a first order times the chlorine, which also is a first order. Now, that is the rate law for this because that rate can't go any faster than the slowest step in the process. So here's my rate law, but I've got an issue. Notice that CL, that's the intermediate. I might make a note down here. CL is the intermediate. It's nowhere. There's no chlorine, just a CL species. There's not a CL anywhere in that reaction. You cannot have an intermediate in your rate law. You can only have species that are in the actual true chemical equation. So we're going to go back to the fast step. Now notice on my um, list over here, I said first write the overall reaction, boom. Next, write the rate laws for the slow step, that's what I did, and for both the preceding fast steps, both the steps. Okay, so here's the fast step. You'll recall when we have a fast step before a slow step, this goes fast, 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 gets this bottleneck. You have all of these chemicals right here that sit and wait, slow coach. They just wait and wait for the slow step to react. So instead of just waiting, it reverses on itself. So it goes forward and reverse. It comes into equilibrium. You'll recall when you have a reaction that's at equilibrium, what's equal? It's the rate. The forward and the reverse rates are equal. So let's write down both of these rates. I'm going to have rate, let's do the forward. Um, it's going to be K1, so I did the, a K1 up top of concentration of NO2Cl to the first order, okay? And then let's write the rate for the reverse reaction. So the reverse reaction will be rate equals K minus one, oops, let's do the minus one, going in reverse, times concentration of NO2, one, that's to the first order, times Cl to the first order, OK? 
I wrote both of those down. Now, the cool part, remember it's an equilibrium. Those rays, the forward and reverse ray, are the same. So that means I can set these equal to each other. So let's set those two equal to each other. We're going to have K1 times NO2Cl. That is going to equal the reverse. K minus one NO2Cl. All right, because they have the same forward and reverse rays, we set them equal to each other. So let's go ahead and um, solve for this Cl. So I'm going to divide both sides by the K minus one, NO2. And then over here, we'll do K minus, oops, minus one, NO2. Um, and from here, notice that cancels. K, the K one and K minus one, that's all just going to be K. That's all just going to be K. So we're going to have, I'm going to um, go ahead and write K equals NO2. CL equals my CL. Oh, check that out. Now what we can do, I found what CL is. Oh, so sorry. Divided by NO2. Okay, look at this. I found CL. I can now take this and substitute, oops, sorry, substitute it for that chlorine right there. Nice. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to, okay, Let's erase all of this so we have a little bit more room. Let's go ahead and write that in. So the rate is going to be, um, now I had um, that K, K times K2, it's just gonna be some number, I don't care. So we just put K, right? Don't worry about the Ks, it's just gonna be K in the end. Times the NO2Cl times, K. Okay, this was NO2Cl divided by, um, the NO2. And that's your rate law. That's going to be your rate law. Now, I can clean this up a little bit. Let's clean it up. You're going to have rate equals K NO2Cl squared, because I have two of those. And then this would be NO2 to the minus one. And there wow, is our overall rate law. Okay, great work couple more videos, a couple more examples that you can watch on this. Okay, have a good day. Thank you.